هاي فور وان بروفيسور محمد شرف ديو توداي اور مين سبجكت از اباوت اور ليكتشر از اباوت سولار ايفاكويتي تيوب فور ذا اسيستنس اوف فيبر كومبريشن اير كونديشنينغ اي ام سوري باي ريفريجرنت ار 410 After you download your model, uh, copy it into your main working folder, uh, then open MATLAB. Go to your location folder from here. This is your, op after opening MATLAB, you have to go to this path, uh, choose your drive, your working, or your working folder that you already copied and passed the, your, uh, already copied your model. So this is my main model. This is my working folder. So I have to go here. Okay, choose my model. Okay, this is model folder. Okay, and I will uh, you will find these files because this is uh, th these files are uh, contained in the folder. This is very important. Please click here, uh, sort by name and uh, group by type. Okay, so we will find your uh, files here. We have solar radiation models by neural network. This is an example of a specific location. Okay, this is just an example. We need this one and this one. This is uh, this is your model uh, uh, by the use of your manual controller, and we can run it in dynamic mode. We can use this in dynamic mode, but the controller is manual, and this one is automatic dynamic. Okay, we are going to demonstrate both of them. Okay, and we have solar radiation model. Uh, we already uh, did this before, so we can briefly uh, uh, operate this one. Uh, this this is uh, first of all. I hope that you can uh, like, share, and and subscribe to our channel in, uh, on YouTube. Okay, uh, let's double clicking here. Okay, this is our main cycle. <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, the cycle um, actually containing. Uh, it is ordinary vapor compression cycle by the use of R410. Uh, we have evaporator, compressor, condenser, expansion valve. We just added evacuated tube uh, heat collector. This is heat tube collector with heat bulb. Therefore, there is no direct contact between the refrigerant and uh, the solar collector. Uh, uh, working fluid. The main working fluid is uh, water trapped here in this tube, or uh, or air. It's up to your design because it is evacuated tube. And we have here uh, hot bulb. This is hot bulb, as you can see, hot bulb uh, tube. Therefore, there is the refrigerant is heating. Uh, 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 the hot bulb uh, uh, copper uh, material in order to increase its uh, refrigerant uh, uh, enthalpy and uh, 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 pressure. Uh, the cycle can operate, um, this cycle is, uh, is going to be operated manually. You can control this manually. Uh, but you, you, we can run this in dynamic mode also, okay? But, uh, uh, but by using your manual controller, it is not automatically controlled. The other cycle is, man is automatically controlled, so we can uh, 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 describe what is going on. Okay, let's double clicking here, and we are going to see. Okay, uh, we have here uh, evaporator temperature. We are going to assign this one. Uh, it's a design mode, so you can uh, uh, assign your evaporator temperature. Uh, this is early hot air temperature to the evaporator. This is the temperature that you are going to uh, uh, control or to decrease. Okay, suppose your room temperature at 400, uh, for, uh, 40 degrees Celsius, I'm sorry, 40 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius. It's up to design. Suppose it's uh, uh, 30 degrees Celsius. And this is your target. We need this one. We need this one. What is your target temperature? Uh, that should be a change uh, uh, from 30 degrees Celsius to the new one, okay? Suppose I need uh, uh, 20 degrees Celsius, okay? And we have here, mm, this is evaporator, so this is lower pressure. 
and we have here a condenser unit, the upper pressure. A condenser term unit temperature is about maybe 30, 34, 35. I think uh, 35 is quite usual. Air, con air cooled condenser. And this is ambient temperature, which is going to cool down your condenser unit. And we have here your refrigerant load. Suppose you have a, a larger space, building, factory, it's up to your design. So if you increase the load, you will increase uh, uh, everything in your cycle. The design aspects, areas, flow rates, and so on. So this is, this is a benefit thing in, in this model that you can control your design. Suppose I have two ton refrigerant. Okay, two ton refrigerant. And we can assign some design aspects such as what is your uh, circle, uh, your duct type in uh, uh, which carrying your air, duct type. Okay, is it circular or square? It's up to your design. Okay, it will affect the speed of uh, your fuel for, uh, of your air. Uh, inner evaporator coil diameter. What is your coil diameter? Uh, outer uh, evaporator coil diameter, inlet and outlet, outlet to, uh, diameter coil, the coil inside the evaporator, and the, uh, material. Material is uh, what is your thermal conductivity? Is it rubber, uh, copper, iron? It's up to your design. For condenser unit, air duct condenser unit, uh, which is responsible for uh, cooling down the condenser. I need to. Um, uh, assign our efficiencies, uh, isotropic efficiencies for um, compressor. Uh, this is your compressor. Uh, condenser effectiveness, I think 0.8 is fine. Cooling fan efficiency, 0.8 is fine. 0 0.8, 0 0.75, something like this, 0 0.75. And we have here uh, fan, fan efficiency for the envelope because there is air here, air uh, at the lower pressure and air at the upper pressure. Uh, maybe uh, 75 uh, okay efficiency okay therefore we assign everything okay therefore our our model is prepared will prepared let's go inside okay if you go inside you will find uh, <clears throat> you'll find your uh, uh, model like this we have evaporator condenser uh, evacuated tube Air cooled, uh, I'm sorry, evaporator compressor, air cooled, uh, evaporated tube collector, air cooled condenser, and we have here expansion fan. We need to uh, assign some inputs to your uh, evaporated tube collector. You can choose your type, operating type. Suppose I, 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 I would like to choose type C. And uh, what is your mass flow rate inside uh, the solar collector? Uh, top evacuated tube collector temperature that you are going to use. Okay, um, this is in your design. You can change this. Mass flow rate through the collector, tube diameter, tube length, uh, uh, number of tubes, <coughs> number of solar collector. What is how many units you are going to use? How many units? Uh, loss coefficient. And solar radiation and ambient temperature. Ambient temperature maybe 25. It's up to your design. And you can change this also. You can change solar radiation in dynamic mode, but manually. Okay. Suppose I have 500 uh, watt per meter square. Okay. Uh, let's survey something. Okay. This this rocker arm is about uh, selecting. Uh, on means if a good if a good tube collector with the assistance in order to assist the compressor and uh, off that means there is no assistance at all we have we have to uh, utilize only the, the ordinary uh, cycle okay suppose I'm going to uh, working on ordinary cycle let's it run and see set your simulation time into zero saving your model and hit apply and Let's see. Okay, we have finished. Okay, you can go inside and, and discover. We we shut off our uh, evacuated tube collector, so there is no results. If you click here, 
click here fit to view there's no result for the collector there's no result at all so we have result from here okay we have this is your mass flow rate through the cycle this is uh, the dryness fraction as you can see here this is mass flow rate stream the first one is the first value here uh, steam quality uh, uh, thermal power uh, this is your evaporator thermal power uh, area uh, tube lens this is your mass flow rate uh, velocity mass flow rate of the air velocity of your air uh, and uh, uh, fan power okay let's go here for the compressor power and this is your COP uh, we have enthalpy uh, three main terms enthalpy temperature and uh, uh, compressor power you'll find this is your enthalpy outlet outlet superheat temperature and this is a uh, compressor power okay suppose I need to uh, uh, going here this is your COP COP okay and let's go for the condenser okay emphasize and going here a condenser unit this is outlet air temperature uh, for the condenser after cooling down your condenser uh, 25 degrees Celsius will reach 33 degrees Celsius mass flow rate through the uh, condenser uh, air velocity fan power a condenser thermal energy and a condenser area okay let's go and uh, I'm trying to um, I will uh, select uh, to operate your uh, evacuated tube collector in order to assist um, as a compressor and reduce the power of the compressor let's I, I check here click the on and I will run Okay, after running, you realize that uh, the, the COP uh, is increased. Okay, and your uh, design operating conditions is uh, are a little bit uh, changed. So, if you go inside your collector, you will find the following temperature, temperature outlet, uh, power, similar power through the solar field. So this is the power saved by the solar field, solar collector total area, a number of loops, one, okay, and uh, some exegetic results. Okay, suppose I need to uh, 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 operate this manually, okay, let's go and operate this manually uh, in dynamic mode. I, I will choose infinity in order to realize uh, the change automatically with respect to the time domain. And this is expansion valve outlet and salve. We need the salve. This is some kind of uh, variable should be changed. Okay, if you go outside here in MATLAB, you will find your results out here. There is some you can also use this results in order to collect your output. Okay, be sure that you, your uh, uh, parameters are checked as to be sent to the data inspector. Check this one or or click on the stream and uh, uh, click here send uh, stream to data inspector uh, so I, I would I, I would do this with pressure high pressure so I click the stream double clicking and I will write it bh means b high this is in kilo pascal okay <clears throat> let's go here and suppose I I'll go here and click send the data inspect to data inspector or I can uh, click here in this stream and stream a selected signal to data inspector so you will realize there is a small square here you can uh, or in Salve Inlet uh, let's go H compressor in in kilojoule per uh, kilogram okay and I will change this data to data inspector. Okay. Okay. So you will find this stream easily be collected as a, a result. Okay. Uh, suppose I need to change some parameters. Okay. Uh, I, I will click here. I'm preparing my my panel control panel and going inside. And uh, let's go here. I, I would like to emphasize in order to and preparing a solar evacuated tube collector panel 
in order to see the difference uh, while I am uh, changing. Suppose I would like to change with respect to the time. I have a little bit shaking this one in order to realize some uh, results. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, now I, I, I would like to let's begin without uh, the I've got YouTube assistance. So I will saving my model and set your solution time into infinity and hit run in order to realize the change automatically. I will begin with uh, this one. I will uh, decrease uh, uh, evaporator temperature, increase it a little bit up to uh, uh, minus 10, for example. Okay. And uh, load, I will increase the load. Just move your cursor or arrows of your uh, cursor. Okay. Now I will operate a focus tube collector as you realize there is a change, slightly change. Suppose I would like to change the solar radiation. Let's increase the solar radiation and see the effect on your cycle. Increasing solar radiation, as you can see here. I'm increasing solar radiation. Okay. You realize this on uh, on your COP and power, uh, compressor power. I'm increasing uh, my solar radiation because this is energy input to the um, uh, to assist uh, your compressor. Okay, and hit the stop. Let's hit the stop and see. Okay, just a click here and let's go inside your data inspector. <clears throat> and uh, okay, I'm trying to inspect my results, and you can compare runs if you'd like. You can make two runs and compare you can compare on on one figure you can compare versus two figures it's up to your design this is a mass flow mass flow changing because i changes the temperature of the evaporator and and so on and this is the steam quality decreased and uh, evaporator thermal power uh, let's go for another uh, compressor power let's go for compressor power this is your compressor power and this this effect is your is the effect of solar radiation because I I or the assistance period uh, which I uh, operated my uh, uh, solar evaporated tube collector. Okay, outlet uh, condenser temperature, condenser cooling flow rate, little bit changing, but you can click here and uh, uh, adjust your uh, uh, y axis let's go this is your pressure high pressure okay remaining constant cop this is your cop varying because you would change let's go for one okay it is varying because we assisted our cycle as you can realize the cycle uh, has increased the cycle cop has increased because we uh, added solar power to the system uh, condenser area, uh, condenser power, and so on. Many, many parameters. Uh, mass flow rate of the air, uh, uh, flow velocity, uh, fan power. Okay. And you can make another run and compare your result on the same, uh, on the same figure. And you can select result two uh, or four. It's up to your two snapshots or, or more. And you can send the figure um, to, uh, you can send this figure or copy it or change your uh, uh, color line color or uh, maybe from here you can change it from here also okay now this one you can make it dash line or dotted line it's up to the side so this dotted line is different because this is your uh, a solar effect and this is ordinary cycle operating uh, conditions Okay, you can clear all from here. You have to refer to my videos about this one. Uh, we made many videos about this data inspectors. Okay, so we have here this cycle. If suppose I need to uh, double click on each block and you can control your code, you can copy it, you'll find your equations with its tag. 
uh, take for each equation so you can use you can use this for your research you can add more parameters if you would like this is your uh, input and these are your outputs so you can add parameter or remove parameter it's up to the design but I do recommend not to remove anything from here okay suppose I need to control this uh, uh, automatically I control this manually as you realize in uh, in, do, uh, in time domain L let's hit run again for another uh, uh, variation suppose I need to discover the, okay let's hit run and see uh, again okay uh, let's hit run I'm trying to uh, decrease uh, the compressor efficiency increase compressor efficiency okay and uh, the cooling load I will decrease it I will decrease it the cooling load as you can see down to uh, okay I'm sorry because I reached to zero okay now it's supposed to be uh, good. okay that's fine suppose you would like to change this ranges you have to just click here on the on control panel block you can control here and going to the mask and edit mask select parameters and let's go here uh, this is your uh, load this is your parameter control panel parameters. this is your load suppose i need uh, the range is very high this is up to 100 so you can uh, change the limitation is it 101 it's up to your design suppose I need no more than uh, 10 uh, ton refrigerant you can increase it up to one so it's up to your design and click apply and okay so if I change something it, it will be uh, very clear to me okay now refrigerant load suppose it's uh, let's begin from one okay okay so you can uh, change this dynamically let's go inside uh, clicking on your solar uh, collector I, I'm just uh, preparing my cycle and let's hit run saving and let's hit run uh, okay let's go for uh, uh, I would like to change uh, cooling load let's increase a little bit okay increasing load and down again okay 1 1.5 1.2 1 1 is fine let's go for uh, uh, solar collector I'm decreasing my solar radiation solar radiation okay down to uh, 200 something like this Decreasing your solar radiation means that the compressor is going to work more and more. Uh, okay, hit stop and see. Let's go for data inspector and see my compressor power. I uh, let's go for compressor power. I would like to add more. Okay, compressor power is here. This one. As you can see, uh, compressor power is increased because I decreased the solar radiation. I de I. Uh, this is uh, the effect of uh, cooling load increasing cooling load or decreasing the cooling load has a massive effect surely and this is the variation of your solar radiation effect on your cycle as you realize okay anyway delete all let's delete all okay and let's go for uh, the second model okay so it's easy you can uh, toggle on or off okay between this is compressor only compressor and this is uh, on means evacuated tube collector is going to be in service uh, with your model okay let's go here okay <coughs> type clear CLC and let's go inside uh, by the way this is solar radiation model for a specific location maybe in uh, Erbil, Iraq okay just an example all you have to do is, is to double clicking here and choose your day what is your day number what is your current time hour and your month number it's easy 
suppose I am uh, let's go you can set this to infinity and you can change your let's, let's see this in, in fast and this is your location this solar radiation is not uh, a general solar radiation model uh, this one is for uh, a specific location so it is not suitable for just an example I did this an example uh, okay I will hit run and see my, my results let's hit run and see my results if I try to change some uh, parameters from the control panel hit run and let's go fast here okay I am increasing the number along one along one month at 12 o'clock okay as you can see here solar radiation uh, is okay is uh, in a changing mode okay let's go for winter operation operating conditions this is months months number may april okay as you can see here april let's decrease the hour I'm decreasing the hour 10 o'clock 8 o'clock okay and this is my uh, January okay uh, February mm, okay we are now in in January okay and day number this is your day number okay hit stop okay and see now we can uh, you realize this you, you will realize this one this is the varying of your solar radiation okay this is your varying of solar radiation okay along the time uh, but I do prefer to set your solution time into zero okay and saving and just clicking here okay clicking here and go inside uh, we can assign this uh, for just uh, in order to uh, discover what is our specific time, what is our specific time solar radiation, uh, uh, global solar radiation. So suppose I have day number 21, uh, hour uh, 10 o'clock, and month uh, maybe uh, October, okay, and hit apply and see. So this is your solar radiation and this is a specific location okay let's close this one and go inside here okay uh, uh, and solar addition model in general so addition model this one is we have uh, we already did another uh, video about this one okay uh, because this one is uh, complicated okay uh, just double clicking here and you can assign your uh, hours it is from eight o'clock uh, up to 4 o'clock a.m. 8 a.m. to uh, this is your current time you can enter it as a matrix or one value this is your day number uh, suppose I need in I need a day number in July so I have to type from here from here 1 8 2 this is Julian day what is your standard meridian longitude uh, latitude uh, tilt angle and um, uh, sea level you can choose between four models or five models but i uh, mm, let's go for for asherah example and hit ok and see and hit run ok let's go for asherah from here you will find you more result if you'd like this is your solar addition angles our angle zoom is angles in angles is many many parameters deflection angle uh, solar uh, uh, calculations what is your daily uh, uh, daily solar radiation hourly solar radiation monthly average and you can click all of this and uh, you can check all of this and click here stream selected to data inspector you will find your results and what is your hotel model okay Oh, Ashley model. There is no result for Asia or Akbar or uh, at water. Just I'm sorry for uh, uh, only Ashley. As you can see here, we have from eight o'clock uh, up to uh, four o'clock. And if you go here, let's go. I'm sorry. If you go here, there is Ashley results. G Ashley. Okay, and click plot. 
we will find it varying along one day, as you can see here, uh, from 8 o'clock up to uh, 4 o'clock uh, p.m. Okay, let's clear all. And see, and see, and let's uh, let's go for dynamic mode. Okay, this is the automatic dynamic mode. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to close this one. And uh, this one also should be uh, shut off. Okay, um, this is automatic dynamic mode. Uh, what we have here uh, is the same cycle. So I attach the solar radiation. I attach the solar radiation uh, to my model. I attached it, and I uh, specified the hours along one year. Suppose I would like to uh, get my result along one one year operational. So this is your hours multiplied day number multiplied by number of hours. So it would give you this, uh, this uh, values. Okay, and this is our uh, uh, solar radiation model. The cycle is the same. All we have to do is to add uh, is to add signal builder for uh, just clicking here. <clears throat> okay, we have to control day number, current time, and months. Okay, months is step. Okay. As you can see here, it it, it took me uh, a very long time to create this. But you can enter a value for one day, you can enter a value for one month, uh, for one hour. It's up to your design. Uh, but I, I, I'm not going to change any of this because I, it is completely hard to uh, reconfigure this again. Okay. So uh, after we prepare this, you will find this preparation are seated here. Uh, just clicking here. Uh, are real examples just one example you can do this for your okay okay this is day number along one one year hourly this is hourly re uh, results along one year hourly results uh, uh timely uh, uh, by hour hour by hour uh, uh, over each month and this is your day by day okay let's close this one turning back again okay so I prepared my model dynamically there is no change in you, you all you have to do is to set your um, uh, parameters here and you can add this parameter to run automatically you can control uh, the refrigerant load automatically or just I am sorry I have to go here to mask parameters uh, let's go and change the, the, the range of uh, let it be 10 uh, maximum refrigerant load in 10 ton okay in order to uh, figure out uh, the most accurate results uh, to become easy to control I mean okay uh, you can change these parameters while the model is running also you can change this or you can run this dynamic model you can just run this automatically Set uh, your evaporator temperature along one year. Set your uh, air temperature or ambient temperature along one year. Okay. Uh, and let it be 20 degrees Celsius if I'd like. <clears throat> Room temperature is around 75, 74 or 30. Okay. It's up to your design. You can set this one automatically, but I uh, let's go firstly for this one. Uh, turn it in dynamic mode and see so this is your switch uh, uh, the story behind this one is that if the solar radiation I, I would like to operate if I put it to automatically uh, this is one okay automatically if the solar radiation exceeded the limit uh, uh, 250 watt per meter square because this is normal suppose I would like to uh, operate solar radiation uh, at the current time of uh, uh, 10 o'clock or 10 or 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock therefore normally I, I I do recommend to operate if you would like to operate solar um, if a quantity tube collector you have to consider it at uh, 300 watt per meter square if you are going to uh, switch off your uh, uh, if a quantity tube collector you have to exceed the limit up to 
1,500 watt per meter squared. There is no effect on your uh, evacuated to collector on your cycle. But suppose I, you can change this. You can change this while the model is running, or you can use this also as um, automatic uh, variation. So you can change this automatically uh, uh, if you would like. This is OL or operating operational load. You can change this uh, automatically. Okay, let's hit run and see my results. We're going to discover power, uh, but I added more uh, terms uh, so, such as uh, COP and energy saving. What is uh, the energy should be saved while uh, energy saved? Zero means no savings. The compressor is in full power. Okay, let's hit run with, uh, with respect to the time and see. <coughs> hit run and we have to wait. Okay. Under such uh, circumstances, I, 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 I will not going to change anything. Okay, as you realize, there is changes in your results in your COP. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, we have to wait a little bit. Okay, and time has finished. Nearly. Okay, let's go for data inspector and see. Let's go for here. And I would like to discover some results. Okay, I, I, I would like to delete this one. Click delete, okay. So let's go here and add more slots. Okay. This is a long one year. This is your time a long one year. Okay. Let's go here and I, I'm sorry I have to delete all because this is uh, delete all this is this variation because this is the other run delete all okay and close let's hit run again saving and hit run again and see we have to wait your time domain is running okay you can change changes if you'd like or vary it uh, okay Compressor power is fluctuating, mass flow rate, hour, hour per hour, okay, hour per hour, uh, and uh, we have to wait a little bit. Okay, uh, let's go and inspect a long one year. Okay, this is your time, a long one year, okay day by day hour by hour uh, let's go for solar radiation actually okay there's a fluctuation of, of your solar radiation along one year uh, from winter uh, four season as you realize four season this is your peak um, so expect your um, expect that this will affect on your cycle performance therefore let's this is your thermal load on uh, uh, Solar energy coming from your uh, f uh, solar field, and if we add here compressor power, as I think, okay, this is the difference. Decreasing in compressor power, uh, increasing in, uh, um, and this is your energy saving. This is your energy saving. The intersect intersection area between compressor power and uh, your thermal load coming from your uh, uh, solar radiation field and this is your COP along one year varying um, and we have here superheat temperature decreasing because we uh, um, so superheat temperature is decreasing because we uh, the, the effect of your solar uh, uh, tube collector outlet in salvi the same effect. Um, I think mass flow rate is constant because we didn't change uh, uh, control panel or cooling load. Okay, and we have air mass flow rate. All of these param uh, parameters have no changing because we uh, we didn't change our uh, cooling loads. Okay, outlet compressor in Salby. This is outlet in Salby. 
okay we already uh, did it here checked here super heat compressor power outlet cooling air temperature uh, okay uh, there is a slightly change here in uh, cooling uh, condition cooling temperature um, let's go for formatting I choose between uh, 0 and 1 I think um, maybe 2 okay um, this is effect of con condenser because we have a slightly change coming from the compressor or the solar field solar field uh, will decrease the insulby effect on the condenser condenser air the same the same as expected from zero up to maybe uh, uh, 10 as I think maybe 200 or 50 I think okay is it from uh, 20 the ranges okay and uh, uh, energy savings this is the energy saved along uh, one year so we can uh, realize the difference between uh, your results you can if you would like to visualize this you can uh, you can send this data to data to your figure from here send it to a figure okay and it will take some time uh, okay emphasize a little bit click here to uh, properties so you can uh, control and reform and delete and do whatever you would like and let's go here we are here and we can change this is a time along one year it, surely it is not hours it is not seconds it is hours you can change this the model is not understanding but we can uh, go in here allow me to do to do this time uh, hours okay and we can delete this you can add whatever you like so you can extract your result you can draw your result you can uh, compare your results you can compare your runs okay okay uh, let's close this one okay can you go outside you will find your results here let's see clear and see and see and see go inside again let's go let's go for another run and if you would like to change this, uh, these parameters automatically, you can, you can. Uh, suppose I would like to do this. Uh, just an example. I will uh, save my model, saving as. I'm just giving you an ideas uh, or some ideas, uh, giving you some ideas about uh, uh, how to control your input in order to extract your outputs. So let, let it be version dynamic 2 and saving. So I need to uh, add more uh, uh, parameters. So let's go for uh, cooling load, I think. Let's, I'm trying to change the cooling load. Let's go and trying to change. Let's go trying to change the cooling load. This is your cooling load from here. This is your cooling load. So this block is your cooling load. So I will remove it put it here and uh, going here and you can do I will just one example is uh, this is one example and you can do the rest and going to the sink okay to go to the sink choose terminator okay and connect this one therefore there is no effect if you if you are trying to change the cooling load from here you will find no change because we terminated our results uh, I'm sorry our input I have to, okay I terminated it okay the value is going to be terminated here okay let's go for um, giving a source choosing you have to be familiar with simulink to reform your model the model is, is easy okay and we can uh, name it 
turn refrigerant for example or load turn refrigerant if you go so I, I, I am going to give give it a signal along one year okay let's go outside you realize there is we need a signal for me for this one okay suppose I need to add it let's add it here and this one it's better not to <laughs> to disturb this uh, suppose I need uh, to bring another one let's see if, if I bring if I, I bring another one okay and we can name it uh, click here and hold shift and click this one right click arrange choose much size okay and we can name this one as um, uh, operating design operating condition design operating conditions okay so we can uh, control here uh, temperatures and load and design aspects efficiency if you like along one year you have to uh, uh, re-simulate your uh, inputs okay double clicking uh, this is uh, okay we need it uh, time range okay time range is up to I, I have to remember I need to remember what is my time range uh, clicking here time range is from 1 up to uh, 8759 okay let's emphasize time range is from a 1 maximum time range is uh, 8759 and click ok ok there is no need for this one we can we're going to replace this technique click here and replace with custom time series is uh, from uh, from 1 up to 8759 and your uh, y value starting from 1 ending to uh, 5 for example with ok ok you can add more points you can add more points and the changes along one year you can add this second by second you can it's up to your design suppose I would like to add more points here let's add I'm just showing you an example and you you can uh, do the rest okay uh, okay varying uh, my load okay um, me, this is winter time as I think so winter time there is no um, cooling load I think cooling was is at its minimum uh, conditions okay minimum conditions and go here maybe one time okay and it will be it will rise uh, gradually uh, to some values okay because of uh, the effect of your summer time and head back again to uh, winter values there is no effect on in winter values maybe I think I, I would like to remove this one uh, suppose this is your turn refrigerant load on your cycle and you can add temperature you can add just to click here new signal and you can add this one we can name this as uh, load uh, turn refrigerant okay saving I'm trying to just to change this automatically and see if it goes or not I'm sure I'm not sure um, let's go here and uh, uh, okay, uh, suppose I need to operate solar radiation effect uh, not less than 600 watt per meter square. Okay, and if you go here, you can. I forget to send this the, some result from that from to that inspector. Okay, anyway, and, anyway uh, okay, saving and let's hit apply and see. I'm just uh, I'm not sure if it will work or not. I'm just trying. As you can see, here is a the variation based on the effect of uh, 
uh, cooling effect and uh, solar radiation and cooling effect condenser power uh, evaporator mass flow rate okay and okay finished uh, let's go here for data inspector and trying to compare <coughs> you can compare runs if you'd like you can compare figures uh, maybe uh, this one is called is uh, the same I think COP let's go for COP I'm not sure if if it can work or not uh -huh. this is your COP there is no effect of solar radiation because I increased the, the range of solar radiation up to 600 watt per meter square so this one is uh, it's quite normal and this is the effect of increasing your cooling load and the effect of the absence of solar radiation at the beginning of your uh, running compressor power where is the uh, compressor power energy saving let's go for energy saving yes the thermal effect and we have um, condenser uh, condenser power uh, it, it would be here condenser power I'm sorry compressor power compressor power yes it will disturb the figure let it be here uh, okay let it be here compressor power effect uh -huh. varying because of uh, solar addition effect beside cooling load varying this is you this line is your uh, uh, cooling load varying and this thick chart is because of the solar radiation energy saved okay okay that's quite normal quite normal and okay uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like uh, share uh, and subscribe uh, i hope this um, this model is being useful to you and we just uh, choose an example of a specific lo location uh, don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe thank you very much